that was a pleasure. Well, Bill and I had done pilots before, and then he'd been on ER, and uh, and he's just a wonderful actor and inventive and smart and fun. And so we started just, well, I thought, well, we've got Bill Macy, so we, we don't have to worry about who anybody else is because we can just get Bill Macy. <clears throat> and I'm going to return to Emmy Rossum last because that was the longest of the journeys. Um, but uh, so we just started seeing people. We hired some people in New York and, and found this little girl, Debbie, uh, to play Debbie, uh, uh, Emma, who was, you know, just this precocious little redheaded kid. Uh, we couldn't find Carl, that's uh, played by Ethan, um, and ended up just finding this kid basically in the street in Chicago who'd never really done anything. He's actually turned into kind of a great actor. <laughs> He's really fabulous. Um, <clears throat> Jeremy White came in. He had just graduated from, he plays um, Lip, and he had just graduated from, uh, from the uh, School of Performing Arts in New York and was sort of perfect and cast him, and he's been fantastic. Um, and Cameron was out, was this kid, this, you know, basically uh, not literally living in his car, but trying to be an actor with his mom, you know, one of those kids who was around, who came in and, um, and, and was terrific. Um, Steve Howey had just finished doing Reba, and this made me laugh hilariously. He was hilarious. Shinola uh, Hampton was a bartender and trying to be an actress and has been fantastic. Mm -hmm. And then Lori Bartlett, um, who was at Gersh at the time, as I recall, as an agent who I had known for years, she had represented Eric LaSalle, called me and said, you gotta see Emmy Rossum. And I said, Emmy Rossum from, you know, <clears throat> The Sign Adventure and from Phantom of the Opera? She goes, yeah, you gotta see her. And I said, well, I, I haven't heard the best things about Emmy Rossum. I've heard that she's, you know, kind of hard to work with and a bit of a diva and everything. And she goes, she's completely, She's over that. She's her teenage rebellion is gone. You got to see her. And I said, I, I life's too short. I can't deal with somebody who's like a pain in the ass. <clears throat> so we kept seeing people, seeing people. She kept calling me. She's very persistent. And I said, all right, just shut up, send her in. I'll see her. She was terrific. So I called around some people. Everybody said, no, no, she's a real pain in the ass. So, so I said, you know what? I'm just going to talk to her. So I called Emmy in and I said, you know, everybody thinks you're a pain in the ass. And she said, yeah, but you know what? I went, <clears throat> I had a huge rebellion, had a lot of problems, things that I was sorting out. I went home, lived in Brooklyn for a while, sort of sorted myself out. You won't have any of those issues with me at all. And she's turned into a very good friend. She has been utterly fantastic on the show and has been a leader with Bill of the cast, always on time, always prepared, always has something interesting she's doing, fearless. You know, she and Bill together are fearless.